winter. A hard, demanding, unforgiving environment. Often characterized by freezing temperatures, whiteouts, and avalanches. Certainly no place for us to travel. Not true. Proper winter living in the wilderness can, should be fun and safe. Just look at these two stylish, happy campers. This is my experience as an instructor for a class at Chico State. This is a brief description of how we had fun and were safe in the winter conditions of the Sierra Nevada. Fun and safety in the wilderness of winter involves at least five things. And it's important to know that fun and safety are practically the same thing. We'll start with preparedness. Here's all my gear. I'm ready for cold, wet, and the unexpected, and I'm holding on to the Boy Scout motto. Also before leaving, I wanted to set out on the right foot, so to speak. So I did a smudge. Smudging is generally attributed to the natives of the American West. Smoke from bundles of herbs, often sage, are wafted over the body. The intent is to provide spiritual cleansing and is often performed before long journeys. The use of smoke and incense is not, of course, unique to the spirituality of Native Americans, as seen here in the Catholic tradition. So once prepared physically and spiritually, I traveled from Taos to Mis Meadows, California, just south of Lake Tahoe. Without any delay, we strapped on our skis and hit the trail to what would be our new winter home. First task, shelters. Here's our initial shelter. We dug a pit into the snow and covered it with a simple tarp. The students were taught to secure lines deep into the snow and to align the length of the tarp with the prevailing winds. Secure, but not yet cozy. The next day, we set out to build Quincy's. A Quincy is a structure dug out of a pile of settled snow. Snow is piled up and then packed down until it settles. When settling, the pile will often issue an audible whoop, letting you know that the snow is settling. Next task, hollow it out. Even when temperatures outside drop well below freezing, the insulating qualities of snow keep the Quincy around 32 degrees. That's cozy. And not too soon, for the winter soon showed its darker, colder side. But being prepared, we still had a good time. Now, on to developing skills. Step one, traveling in snow. Students learn a little history of skiing and some important techniques on skis, like turn, turning and traveling down slopes. We all spent three days at a ski resort perfecting our skills, and the instructors were even involved in taking lessons, which could be frustrating at times. After learning to travel on snow, students learn to assess ever-changing winter conditions. Students conducted several tests to assess snow layers and avalanche conditions. Moving on, of course part of staying safe is proper nutrition and hydration. There was no shortage of well-prepared food. And by melting the snow that surrounded us, we were in constant supply of water. Now the final piece of fun, safe winter living is awareness. Not just awareness of skills, hazards, and nutrition, but awareness of the constant beauty provided by the winter environment. Awareness that experiences like these are rare, and that experiences like these should be shared. So I encourage you to get out there, have fun, 
be safe, and remember these five things. Okay, there you go.